Welcome back to Junior's News Network. Today's topic is about a recent incident involving the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, JSO, in Florida. JSO officers mistakenly detained a woman in her home after bursting into the wrong apartment without knocking. The woman, identified as Mary Johnson, who was handcuffed, was at home with her four-year-old son when the incident occurred. Johnson says she was traumatized by the experience, and her son is now fearful of law enforcement. Johnson is seeking legal action against JSO for the wrongful detention. May they stop it. They stop brutalizing people like they're doing. Communicate with people instead of being the first thing you want to do is put your hands on them and slam them on the ground and hurt them all up. What? It's absolute mayhem inside Christy Jackson's house just after midnight on Thursday, after Jackson says sheriff's officers forced their way inside her apartment without a warrant, taking her down to her kitchen floor with force. They literally slung me on the ground. I was on the ground. One, poli off, uh, one officer kicked me in my side, in my right side, kneed me in my right side as I was on this the This isn't ground. the first time JSO has faced criticism for incidents involving excessive use of force and racial profiling. In 2019, a video surfaced of JSO officers using excessive force against a handcuffed suspect. The officers were subsequently fired, but the incident raised questions about the department's use of force policies. In addition, JSO has been accused of racial profiling in the past, and there have been calls for an independent review of the department's policies to address these concerns. Jackson says it all started with a knock on the door with JSO officers asking her if she was Mrs. Cooper. Jackson says she told the officer she wasn't Mrs. Cooper two times. She says then she tried to shut her front door. I got ready to close the door. It was stopped by Officer Foot, and then all the other officers bum rush right through here. What's going on, officer? Can you talk to me? Can you talk to me, please? At one point during the scuffle, a JSO officer is heard saying, we're trying to figure out what's going on as well. Jackson is heard asking members of her family to run and get her photo identification. If I'm on my purse, what's going on? If you get her ID, verify that she lives in this apartment, it would help. She lives here. Where is it at? Mama, where is it at? How? Officer, 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 what's going on? I didn't Mama. do nothing. That's what we were going to figure out. Mama. Go get my ID, please. Go get what's my going ID. on? Officer, can you please tell me what's going on? I need her ID. That's okay. all I need. Jackson says JSO officers took her out of her house in handcuffs and placed her in the back of a squad car where they questioned her. She says officers didn't read her her rights or tell her why she was being detained. Here's what she noticed inside of the police officer's squad car. Once I got inside the car, I'm looking and they got four pictures of this person that they're looking for. And out of all four pictures, we don't look skin color not alike, hair color not alike. Hers is more red, mine was, is more orange. The recent incident has raised questions about police procedures and the use of force in law enforcement. Some are calling for increased training and education for police officers to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. In light of the JSO's history of police misconduct, some members of the community are calling for increased police accountability and transparency. The JSO has apologized for the recent incident, and Johnson's lawyer has stated that they will be pursuing legal action against the department. It remains to be seen what steps the department will take to address these concerns and prevent future incidents. We will continue to monitor this story and provide updates as they become available. Thank you for watching.